Hey everyone, welcome back to Resort Rewind. I'm Justin. And I'm Stacy. Today we're giving you an in-depth tour of the Catalonia Riviera Maya in Mexico. Situated in the heart of the gated community of Puerto Aventuras, this resort isn't just a destination, it's an experience. Let's start with its location. Being part of Puerto Aventuras means guests have access to a plethora of activities off the resort premises, golfing, dolphin adventures, fishing charters, and even catamaran and snorkeling tours. It's about 25 minutes from Playa del Carmen, an hour from Cancun, and 30 minutes from Tulum. When we arrived at the resort, checking in was a breeze and the staff was great. We traveled with our two older children and we had one preferred room and one standard room. The rooms themselves were identical, including a safe, mini fridge, shower, and ice cold air conditioning. Connected to the Catalonia Riviera Maya is the Catalonia Yucatan, which is an older building with older rooms. However, the rest of the resort is shared. So if you're looking at staying at the Catalonia Yucatan, most of this will still apply. Our initial room was a blend of comfort and aesthetics, but like any tropical paradise, we faced a minor hiccup during a heavy downpour, a leak. However, the resort's proactive staff ensured we were moved promptly. Our second room, though vibrant and lively, had its moments, especially during the late hours. It faced the resort and we were awakened a few times around 2 a.m. to people screaming. But let's talk perks. The Privilege Pass was our golden ticket to basic room service, a stocked minibar, and exclusive access to the resort's premium spots, one of which was this hidden gem of a restaurant, the Beloved Lounge. With panoramic views of the beach, dining here was an amazing experience, but sadly, we didn't discover this spot until near the end of our trip. The Privilege Pool was a bit more secluded and child-free, with a conveniently located bar. The resort itself is very compact, it makes it a great option for anyone with mobility issues. It's worth mentioning this is a family resort, so there will be a lot of children running around. We noticed it to be much busier on the weekend, with locals coming in for a shorter stay. Being a gated community, you get the feeling of being on a larger resort because you can still walk around and explore for miles. At night, it was very lively down by the pier with great scenery, dolphins, and nightlife. We most frequently ate at the main buffet building, where we would enjoy great breakfasts of freshly made eggs, sizzling meats, and many great options. Lunch and dinner provided a wide range of options, including authentic tacos, fish, hamburgers, and a range of international dishes. When you needed a quick bite in between meals, the Snack Shack was our go-to. From pizzas to nachos and hamburgers, it had what you needed to keep going. And for dessert lovers, the creperie is heaven on earth. The range of crepes, both sweet and savory, paired with gourmet coffees and ice creams, was the perfect end to our meals. And if you're looking for a fine dining experience, the a la carte options are a must try. We indulged in the Italian and Mexican restaurants and each dish was excellent. They had no shortage of food options, including a sausage stand, hamburger restaurant, steakhouse, and Japanese food. The a la carte restaurants had to be reserved using their website app, or you could try showing up looking for cancellations. Our kids had their mini vacation with the round-the-clock room service. The room service was only available with the preferred package which cost us an extra $120 for the week. The Catalonia utilizes a bracelet system, which we really don't like for many reasons, but it helps them operate the resort better. Blue or yellow for the standard package and purple or orange for the preferred. Now, for those who believe vacations are incomplete without a drink in hand, the resort boasts an array of bars, each with its unique ambience, signature drinks, and character. Whether you're in the mood for a tropical cocktail by the beach, swim up bar, or a classic wine in a sophisticated setting, they've got you more than covered. For fitness and wellness enthusiasts, the gym and spa are your sanctuaries. The gym, equipped with state-of-the-art equipment, ensures your fitness routine isn't disrupted. It features multiple spaces for weights, cardio, and floor workouts. It overlooks the spa's serene hydrotherapy pool, the spa is located above the gym, where you can indulge in rejuvenating massages, which we did, facials, body wraps, manicures, pedicures, and more. It's a world of relaxation. Now on to the beach, where I am going to be a bit critical. The beach seemed to receive pretty good reviews online, but it really just didn't stack up well for me compared to other stays in Mexico. It was more of a bay or inlet from the ocean. There were two main swimming areas and you couldn't walk any further down the beach because it was just rocks for as far as you could see. The entry into the water was also very rocky and not very comfortable without footwear. They have large concrete wave stoppers which help keep the water very calm and friendly for children. We did venture into the water beyond the bay and indulged in some snorkeling. 
It was definitely the best and clearest spot around to see all kinds of colorful fish. It's also a very beautiful setting around sundown. You can snorkel in the bay and lagoon areas too, but if you want to see even more, you can either explore outside the bay or sign up for a snorkeling tour. One of my favorite spots was the saltwater pool located beyond the beach and just past the Dreams Resort. It is a very unique spot encapsulated by rocks and filled with small fish. It is a beautiful area with a great view. The beach area has plenty of nice lounge spaces, a volleyball court, and the resort offers paddle boards and kayaks in the lagoon behind the preferred pool. The Catalonia offers several pools, each with a different vibe. From a swim-up bar to dedicated zones for activities like volleyball, there's a pool for every mood. There are many activities available throughout the day and night. One of our favorites was the live-action Moana performance. They did an incredible job creating the vibrant set and costumes, and it was exceptional. The start times were a bit late, around 9.30 for these types of shows. We also experienced the Mexico night, with some great live entertainment and some good old-fashioned bull riding. The Kids Club is available from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. for kids 4 to 12 years old if you need some adult time. There is a small fee for this service, but the kids will be thoroughly entertained with crafts, sports, and games. We decided to rent a vehicle through the desk in the front lobby at a rate of about $75 US per day. This resort is located in a prime spot for day trips. We ventured to the beautiful village of Akumal for some incredible snorkeling, Cancun for the world-class waves and city life, and explored some amazing cenotes right down the street from our resort. And don't forget our visit to Cozumel and Playa del Carmen, which had their own unique vibe and vibrant culture, and of course our trip to Tulum, where we explored the Mayan ruins, crystal waters, and an epic fishing adventure with Paco, who helped Taylor land two great barracudas. We'll have another video showcasing some great spots to explore and save money in the process. So make sure you're subscribed to our channel. Inside the gated community, we did partake in a swim with the dolphins where we learned all about these beautiful creatures and had an up-close experience. We also rented some scooters and a golf cart for the day. They seemed to allow anyone to drive them, and Taylor had a blast doing laps in the area. And speaking of golf, we also did nine holes for the two of us with club rentals and a cart for $200 USD and then another $60 for nine balls. The course was great, extremely hot, but lots of fun. I almost got hit by a coconut while shooting from a sand trap, so remain vigilant out there. So wrapping up, the Catalonia Riviera Maya Resort has a lot to offer, and there are many ways to create your own fun. The gated community is home to other condos, resorts, Airbnbs, and vacation properties. We felt very safe at all times. That's it for our review of the Catalonia Riviera Maya. If you found this helpful, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until our next adventure, keep exploring, keep making memories. This is Justin and Stacy signing off from Resort Rewind. Safe travels.